Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this super adorable and very 1.17 appropriate axolotl house. Stay tuned for next week where I'll show you how to decorate this house. But in the meantime, let's get on with the tutorial. For this build, you'll need the materials on your screen now. Let's begin with this little axolotl's face. We're making use of ice here, as it is the perfect kind of blue. But don't worry, packed ice and blue ice don't melt. An axolotl's face is a total of 5 high and 8 wide. For the sides of his head, continue with ice and some light blue concrete powder. White concrete helps achieve the right balance of colours for an axolotl. And repeat this on the opposite side of his head. Now for the back of this little guy's head, we're going to be leaving it partly open for a doorway. Axolotls have quite an interesting texture on their body, using the blue as kind of shading for the white. Kind of has these little peaky mountain type things as a pattern. Then we'll go in with some white uh, concrete. The body of an axolotl is only four high, so it'll sit one lower than the head. Repeat this design on the other side so it mirrors. We can check everything lines up row by row. Now for the final wall of our axolotl house. Fill in the rest with concrete powder. Here's what we have so far. Now because this axolotl uses concrete powder for the roof, we need to add in some warped trapdoors so it doesn't fall. Put it on the upper level of the second highest block like this. That way we can place blocks on top of it. Now fill in this little guy's head. And onto the body. Now these patterns might seem a little random at first, but they actually match with the real design of an axolotl. So not only is your axolotl house super cute, but it is Minecraft realistic. Axolotls have this nice texture down the center of their back and then the rest is white.
That is the body of our axolotl complete. Now time for the tail, the fins and the feet. Tail time! The tail is outlined in pink and then has white and blue in the centre. Let's do the outline first. Now fill it in with blue. The blue has a little pattern which goes along like this. Then white to finish it off. Before the tail can truly be finished, we need to add the fin section that goes along the back. I'm using magenta terracotta here, then light blue terracotta, and blue concrete. Should finish one before the head. And look like this. Because this has got a two block centre, it will have to be one block to the side. Real life axolotls in Minecraft do actually have a two block centre, but the reason the fin doesn't look off centre on um, those axolotls is because the fin can be a lot thinner. Here we have to compromise and have it one to the side. Let's give this guy some legs. So it's going to go light blue concrete powder, blue ice, packed ice, white concrete and then pink wool for the feet. I'm having my feet off at different angles because when you see axolotls swimming out in the wild, that's how they are. Looks like this from above and this from the front. Let's do the other side now. Light blue concrete powder, blue ice, packed ice, white concrete and pink. This final one I'm going to have coming off towards the back. You'll notice that it is two in from the end and the blue concrete powder for the front foot should be diagonal to this one here. That way you can get your bearings. And all four feet are finished. He looks like he's swimming to catch some salmon. Now for the very important fins. This is what makes it look like an axolotl. This here is light blue terracotta and it provides a nice transition from the white to the pink. The fins start three from the front of the face and you can angle them however you'd like. Let's have this one coming forward a little. Now for the ones on top of the head. This one can come backwards. All of the fins go white concrete powder, white concrete, light blue terracotta, pink wool, and pink concrete. Hmm, let's see. That one goes forward, so let's make this one go backwards. One more fin. And look at our axolotl!
there's just one more thing to do to turn this from a cute axolotl into an axolotl house, and that is add a door. I'm putting mine underneath these two concrete powder. You can be really speedy and break and place it, or you can just break and replace the concrete powder. I'm using a warped door, but you can use whatever um, tickles your fancy. By changing up the coloured blocks you use, you can create any type of axle you'd like. Like this yellow one. Or this pink axolotl. I hope you enjoyed building this cute little house and remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I release more tutorials and when I release the how to decorate an axolotl house next week. I'll catch you in another tutorial. Bye!